So I came across a really interesting article on the nextweb.com. Basically, this this company is working on an AI that is going to analyze pictures and detect whether or not they include forms of child sexual abuse. So similar to Google's Google Photos, which can categorize your pictures, which may include cats, for example, this AI led this AI led by worrying and his team is going to recognize objects that are commonly used in sexual imagery involving children things like beds or teddy bears for example and obviously children and to go a little further here the 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 one of the main challenges that they're running into is trying to teach the system how to depict who is under 18, for example, 17-year-olds. According to this article, even most human experts can't even tell the difference whether or not, you know, 17-year-old is above or below 18 years old. And the other thing they're running into is, which makes sense, is that they're having trouble teaching the computer because they don't have access to large image databases or data sets and sexual imagery cannot be shared with researchers for obvious private privacy reasons so it's a little bit of a challenge but the overall goal is to help help police and detectives who are working on sexual abuse cases filter through pictures quicker and and figure out which pictures really include you know sexual imagery or sexual abuse involving children so right here at the end we can make the system more accurate to minimize exposure so instead of needing three days to go through all the flagged files the police may only need a few hours or even minutes so if there's a big data set, say someone gets caught with a bunch of pictures, if there's a, they have a, you know, maybe they have thousands or something. I mean, they even, they actually caught someone in this article that had around a million files. And that's insane. I don't even understand how someone can get over a thousand. But, so if they have a big data set of like thousands of uh, sexual abuse pictures, this AI is going to sift through them and figure out which pictures include objects that are commonly found in pictures involving children and sexual abuse. And right now they have someone that has to look at all the all the pictures that the AI spits back and the d detective has to figure out okay which ones actually include those objects that they put into the algorithm. But their goal is to make it so that the AI can learn over the, the course of its lifetime which pictures actually included the objects and which didn't so then the AI can help us humans and we can help the AI so we can help each other and and that's like I'm saying we can get the the time it needs to go through lots of files for police down to a few hours or even minutes because right now it takes a few days to go through a lot of flagged files so very interesting and and obviously I certainly hope they get they get that down to that point because it's gonna make things a lot easier it's gonna make solving cases a lot smoother and overall it's gonna really be a big tool to police and detectives one other thing I want to talk about actually at the beginning of the article is a Dutchman was exposed by a church window so basically in 2011 he was convicted for molesting two young boys and producing and distributing imagery so they took his pictures and it had a church window across the street which was visible through the window in the back of the room the Dutch police worked with researchers who wrote an algorithm that made use of Google Earth images to find that exact same church window and they located the exact church and it was in a small town and the the Dutchman's house was right across the street and so they found him 